Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Still vlogging my quarantine adventures even though each day I feel like I have to get more and more creative of like ideas of things that I wanna do to kind of like take up my day. But later in this vlog, I do wanna take a little bit of time and tell you guys what life is like being an ER tech right now with this whole pandemic going on um, because I worked 12 hours yesterday and it was pretty crazy. Um, so I wanna fill you guys in on that because the media can be very misleading and I have like a first person perspective of what it's like working in the emergency room during this time so I can kind of tell you guys what's going on really quick shout out to vanity planet for sponsoring today's video I'll be showing you guys how I use their facial cleansing brush later in today's video and if you want to check that out it's at 12 52 and there'll be a timestamp in the description so I'm gonna make some pancakes for breakfast this morning but these are gonna be like really healthy pancakes so I want to show you guys how I'm doing this oh I hate the little strings um so you're gonna want to use one banana and this will make about four pancakes and then get a fork and mash it up. I had a banana that was more ripe than this one, but I didn't wanna use it because I personally felt like it was gross. <laughs> I was like really grossed out. I started to peel it and I was like, ooh, this is like way too ripe for me. So I decided I would just use this one, which it's still pretty ripe, but could have been a little softer. Then you're gonna wanna crack four eggs in a bowl. Then we're gonna whisk these together and then add it in with the bananas. Then we're gonna do one third cup of almond or coconut flour, either one will work for this. And then half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then I'm gonna add one pack of Truvia, which is like the sugar from the stevia plant. And I'm just going to add the one pack of that because it'll just make it a little sweeter without adding anything that's too bad, like straight sugar or anything. Then add an eighth cup of water. And then I'm just gonna spray my pan and turn it on to like medium low heat. And now I am just cutting up some strawberries to go on top. You just make them like regular pancakes. I did not film this part because I thought my camera was recording and it wasn't. Um, there's something wrong with my camera, guys. Like, I don't know if you've noticed in my vlogs, but like it goes out of focus all the time. And then this morning I went to start filming and it gave me an error message and just shut down and then it would not focus on my face. I literally had to restart it like four times. So this sucks because I was not planning on buying a new camera anytime soon and they're not cheap, but I might have to upgrade my vlogging camera. So if you have any suggestions, let me know, because this thing has really seen better days. Looks amazing. Here are my two pancakes. They look amazing. And now I'm just gonna add these strawberries on top and some maple syrup. I just saw this meme and I wanted to show it to you guys because this is genuinely how I feel about the community that I've built on my channel here on YouTube. Literally, like, we're just a big family and it's awesome. Guess what I just got in the mail? My Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. I decided to get one of these so that I could play Animal Crossing on our TV screen in the living room and not just have like the Joy-Cons in that controller because it's just so much better on here. So highly recommend this. I'll link the one I got. This is just like the original Nintendo Switch one. I was gonna buy an off-brand one that had like an Animal Cross logo, but the reviews for all of those like custom ones are that the controllers are cheap and they feel cheap and this one feels amazing. It feels an xbox controller so i am really excited that i just decided to go with the black one even though it's not as cute um the quality is a lot better also i got my hoodie in the mail from urban outfitters and i actually shared this in a vlog when i was ordering it and a couple of other things that i was like looking at but that vlog is probably going to go live after this one and i hate when that ends up happening but it was a sponsored video and i had to wait on brand approval so it's actually not going to go live until next week so i will have one <laughs> vlog going out later than the rest it is so much later but i refuse to like let the day go by and not get my workout in because I know that I'll just be mad that I didn't do it. Um, so it's literally 7.09. The sun is starting to go down and I figured I have probably just enough time to do like a 30 minute workout, but I got an exciting package in the mail and I wanna show you guys. I ordered peach bands because 
I really, really wanted a good pair of resistance bands. And several months ago, I ordered like some on Amazon and they were pretty cheap. So I really, really wanted to get the cloth ones because I know that these are better quality. And with the peach bands, it comes with three different like weights. So light, medium, and heavy. And these ones are the cloth bands. So they're just like so much better quality. So I can't wait to use these. Gonna test these out. And then I also got a kettlebell on Amazon. So you can get the peach bands from their website, but I think it will take longer to ship. So I'll link the ones from Amazon below. And they are this exact same set, the Peach Bands brand, um, but they sell them on Amazon, so it's awesome. quite a while later. I did not get nearly as much done as I was planning on getting done today. I played Animal Crossing, I did laundry, and I got a workout in. I was going to exfoliate and tan tonight just for fun. Like obviously I'm not going anywhere, but sometimes it's just nice to be tan. Um, but I think I'm gonna hold off because of the time and I'm kind of like wanting to wind down and, and self tanning is a lot of work and then I would have to stay up for like two or three hours to then rinse it off. I've got some leftovers for dinner. I'm gonna heat up. This is just some farro grain mix with like some chopped up veggies. I think there's onions, lemon zest, and sweet potatoes and then some Parmesan cheese on top. It's really, really good. Or at least it was last night. Heat that up and I'm gonna have some wine. I just realized that I accidentally heated this up in the Tupperware container. So before someone comes at me and tells me that's not good, I already know and I'm trying really hard to stop doing that. And I actually haven't done that in a while. I think it's just because I was like filming that I just like didn't think about putting it in a bowl. But I know that's gross because like the plastic is getting heated up. So sorry, just throwing that out there. You guys are just gonna have to excuse my appearance. Obviously, I just got done doing a major circuit workout. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, you should be because I've been posting all of my home workouts on there and I also have them saved in a highlight. So in case you missed any, um, it's called home workouts and I just like share all the workouts that I've been doing. And a lot of you guys have liked them and tagged me in you doing the workouts and I think that's awesome. So let me know if you try any of them. Um, I just kind of make them up as I go like by watching what other people do and then like kind of creating my own stuff. So anyway, what is my hair doing? I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna eat dinner and I poured myself a glass of wine, but I thought right now would be the perfect time to tell you guys about what I said this morning, um, which was that I was gonna talk to you guys about my experience working in the ER with the whole pandemic going on. So since this entire thing has arised, um, it was kind of like beginning of last week or the week before that. I've only worked two 12 hour shifts since the entire thing kind of like started. Um, and it started out with like half of the people I work with thinking it's not a big deal and the other half like taking it very seriously and starting to wear masks like literally two weeks ago. And then we started having people coming into the ER lobby and stealing masks. Like literally we have masks sitting out in case a patient has flu-like symptoms or if they're coughing. And we started noticing when we would put masks out that they were going missing. So like literally people were coming into the department and taking masks and that was obviously a problem um, because we need masks for one and for two, this is when everything was starting to like come out and we were starting to hear that there was like a shortage of masks in other places. Anyway, fast forward, then I my shift before yesterday's shift, they started basically making it so that if you were in triage, there's a tech and a nurse in triage, then you basically have to wear a mask, a gown and gloves and you have to change that out every single hour. And we kind of realized, you know, obviously like the triage tech runs back and forth and rooms the patient. And after so much time, like we realized that they're going through so much. So I don't know if that's why they changed it or if they changed it just because the protocol changed because like literally every single hour we get like new information it seems like. And then they say that, okay, we're not doing this anymore. Now we're doing it this way. But 
the latest as of yesterday when I was working um, we have like security guards that have to stand outside of the EMS area um, pretty much just to like guard the entrance to make sure that no one comes in there that could have the virus they're asking questions about like the patients that are trying to get into the department basically if they have like a fever they have been around someone that's had it and basic questions like that and if they do um, then it's treated a little bit differently than if they were just someone who was coming in because they broke their leg or something I know that they're handing like every single person a mask which sucks because we are as staff are running low on masks so i think the scariest part of my experience yesterday at work was finding out that we were only allowed to have one mask of each kind we get one n95 and one surgical mask for our entire 12-hour shift which typically you get a new one for every single patient that you walk into because it's not safe but that's how low we are on masks like they gave us a brown paper bag and we had our one mask of each kind and then at the end of my shift they told us that they don't even have enough n95s now for us on our next shift so now we're saving those and we're using them for multiple shifts and i guess they're going to try to like put them in uv light and basically sanitize them of all of the germs so bizarre to be working during this time um there's a lot of like hysteria there's a lot of patients coming in who don't have it there's no reason they would think they had it like they're there for something completely different but yet they want to be tested for it because they're afraid and we're not just testing anyone like you have to meet certain criteria um and then we had several patients yesterday that were like full-blown isolation um we had to intubate someone and he was having like such a hard time breathing he had a fever he had a cough like this guy definitely had covid so obviously we swapped him for it but we're not going to know the results so they're having us like sign our names on a piece of paper for every isolation patient that we went in um, and we're wearing at that point like goggles a mask a gown and gloves and we have to keep the door closed at all times because it's like airborne and droplet precautions so it is crazy um it was really scary being in that one room with that very critical patient but we're treating pretty much every patient like they could have it because the symptoms are kind of broad and someone could come in there with something completely different but then also be experiencing symptoms that could be um the COVID-19 so it it's crazy what a time to be living through I feel like I should be like writing a journal of everything that I'm experiencing right now um anyways I want to eat my dinner I obviously can't like talk and eat dinner I just can't multitask that's who I am so I'm gonna eat if you guys have any questions about that or about anything um feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll definitely get back to you um but yeah that's pretty much my experience so far. You have heard it from me. fresh out of the shower and I actually just threw my contact lenses in so that I could take a minute to show you guys my new facial cleansing brush. Today's video is sponsored by Vanity Planet and I'm so excited to show you guys this brush because it has literally changed the game for me. Before I was ever using a facial cleansing brush, all I was using was my hands and a washcloth. And even though that works, I'm very shocked by how much makeup is left behind when you wash your face that way. So I'm really excited to show you guys my new facial cleansing brush by Vanity Planet. Their facial cleansing brush comes in a unique case so that way it's easy to take with you if you travel and it comes with three brush heads from cruelty free bristles the daily cleansing brush comes with ultra soft bristles for a complete and gentle clean and works great with a mild cleanser the exfoliating brush removes deep-seated oil and debris from the lower layers of the skin so this one is great for people who are acne prone it has firmer bristles for a deeper clean and this one is great to use two to three times a week the silicone brush which is my personal favorite gently cleanses sensitive skin and acne prone skin to loosen and dirt and unclog pores. This brush head is perfect for daily use and it has soft hypoallergenic bristles. I love the feel of the silicone on the skin. Since I've already exfoliated my skin this week, I'm going to be showing you guys this brush with the silicone head. I love the feeling of this. It is so smooth and it removes dirt, oil, and makeup six times better than using your hands. So first I just wet the brush. Then I just put my favorite gentle cleanser on the brush head. And don't forget to wet your face first. And then you're just going to apply the brush to your face in gentle circular motion. I feel like getting deep into my skin and removing my makeup. 
which is such a huge pet peeve of mine. I don't know if you're somebody who has to take your makeup off before you go to bed or if you're someone who just like sleeps with it on, but I literally cannot sleep with my makeup on. This brush is really great for people with sensitive skin, so if you're someone like me, it's perfect for you. The bristles are so soft, so I've been using it on the lower setting, but it also has a higher setting, and I'll show you guys. So the higher setting is great too, especially if you're trying to like really take your makeup off if you had like makeup caked on there or something. And one last thing before I rinse my makeup off, the silicone head does not harbor bacteria, which is another reason why it's one of my favorite brush heads to use. It's antibacterial and like most brush heads on the market, so it's honestly such a great alternative to whatever way you might be washing your face right now. I should probably rinse my face off now. Now my skin is fresh and clean, and if you guys want to check out that facial cleansing brush from Vanity Planet, there'll be a link in the description, and you'll get 70% off if you use the code MLCLEAN. With all this extra time on our hands being self-quarantined, there's no excuse to not be taking your makeup off at night. So you should totally get one of these guys because your skin is so important and you need to take care of it while you're young. Word of advice from my own grandma. And thank you again, Vanity Planet, for sponsoring today's video. It's a little bit later and I'm winding down for the night. I wanted to show you guys the book that I'm reading because whenever I tell you guys I'm reading a book, everyone always asks what book it is and I forget to share it. So this is Where the Crawl Dads Sing and it's a New York Times bestseller. I found out about this book from my friend. This is actually her copy of the book and she said she read the entire thing in like three days so apparently it's a really good book I'm not super far along yet but I definitely trust Alyssa's judgment because her and I have read books together before and we both love the same kind of books so if she says this is a book you can't put down then it's a book you can't put down and Chad just got home from work a little bit ago. We're about to go grocery shopping, so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. I wanna actually do a little outfit of the day because I decided to put some real clothes on, take advantage of my one opportunity to get out of the house for the week, um, and I'm like literally so excited to put some real clothes on. <laughs> I am literally obsessed with this oversized t-shirt. This is from Urban Outfitters and it just like is super distressed. It's got like a bunch of rips in it and majorly oversized um, and it is sublime. So absolutely love sublime. Chad and I love listening to them whenever we go to the beach. So it just reminds me of the beach whenever I hear sublime. So I thought it was really cute. I got this and then I also paired it with these super high rise shorts that I'm obsessed with. They are on the expensive side, but they're so worth the money. Um, I love them because they're like longer so like most shorts that are high rise rise up in the back and that's so annoying to me but these ones are quite a bit longer so you don't have to worry about that like annoying thing where it like rises up in your butt i hate that <laughs> so i'm just wearing it with these shorts and these are from revolve i think but they're by the brand a goldie so i'll link both of these and then i always get questions about this necklace it has a c on it for chad so i'll link this as well i got this from nordstrom and it's the prettiest thing ever i always get compliments on it when i wear it these bracelets are from bulba bar um it comes in a set of three i'll link those as well and then my shoes which are just black converse, but I'm pretty sure like everybody has a pair of black converse. So this is my look for the day. Finally not wearing sweatpants and it feels so good. We just decided to come to Target to do our groceries because we don't really need a ton, it's just like some produce and really just a few things. So we're going into Target, wish us luck. I don't really think it's gonna be too bad. Guys, it's been so long since I had this barefoot wine and then I started watching Tara Michelle's vlogs again and she's been drinking this like barefoot wine all the time, which is like one of the first wines that I ever started drinking like when I turned 21. And I got a bottle of the Pinot Grigio and I had it last night and it was so good. So I got two more bottles, a bottle of the Pinot Grigio and a bottle of the Riesling. Guys, look at my new plant for my office. I am so excited. We ended up stopping at Home Depot while we were out cause Chad needed to get like some light bulbs and trash bags, something else. Oh yeah, our water. We have, we like refill like big jugs of water there. So we had to swap out our water anyway. 
This is the plant that I decided to get. Was not trying to plant shop, but it was only $30 and this is a real plant. Um, I was gonna end up trying to find a fake one, but then I discovered this beauty. And then I just grabbed this basket really quick while I was in Target. And it's just so pretty and it looks so good in here. So I'm really, really excited. Chad and I are trying to fill our house with more greenery because one, it's just like good for your air quality. And also it's just really pretty and it looks good. Now I wanted to show you guys the candles that I got from Target because I just burned out our last one last night. And the one that we keep on our coffee table is almost done too. So I got coconut sea salt that smells so good and these candles are only 10 bucks and they're pretty big and they burn for a while so pretty excited and then this other one is peach prosecco and this one smells so good so i'm gonna put this one in the kitchen we're making lunch now i'm watching the office and i'm just making a boar's head sandwich cracked pepper turkey and i think this is white american cheese and i'm using dave's killer bread with a bunch of my spicy mustard because i love spicy mustard and you can't forget the dill pickles these are my favorite i guess it's a little bit later and i took a nap not gonna lie um and it was amazing chad and i love taking naps like on our couch over there especially oh my gosh do you guys see what i mean this thing is like okay i guess we don't know how to focus anymore i really think i'm gonna have to upgrade my camera just like giving me so many issues lately but anyway uh we love taking a nap on the weekend it's so relaxing so that's what we did and now i'm awake and i'm going to make that tiktok coffee that everybody is talking about right now on the internet if you're watching anyone's videos who's on youtube then you've probably seen it already um but i'm going to share it with you guys how i'm making it basically just following the recipe i'm not endorsing it i've never had it before but it looks so good so i can't wait to try it it's like whipped coffee so all you need is a bowl a tablespoon some kind of instant coffee sugar and hot water so and then obviously like whatever milk you're gonna use so you do one tablespoon of the instant coffee one tablespoon of sugar and then you need a tablespoon of hot water so I'm just gonna heat this up in the microwave okay I have my hot water and then you're just doing a tablespoon of hot water oh, I need more than that and you just mix it. Apparently you have to do this for like five minutes or something, so I'm going to set a timer. I hope this works because whenever they do it, it turns into like this thick peanut butter looking consistency. <laughs> so after like five minutes of stirring, it will be like this really thick, consistency and i think it would have been easier if i would have used a whisk apparently that's what other people use but i didn't realize that until after i already started stirring it with a spoon so i just stuck with it um but yeah it kind of looks like peanut butter so now i'm gonna fill up my cup with ice okay so i have a cup with some ice and now i'm going to fill it with almond milk you can use whatever milk you want this would probably be really good with coconut milk i wish i had coconut milk and then you pretty much just put this on top Take a straw and you just kind of like mix it up from what I've seen. You just have this delicious whipped coffee latte that everybody says is so good. So I will taste test and let you know what I think. So here is the final product. It looks really good. I'm really excited to try it and I hope this is good because I nearly broke my arm trying to mix that like mixture. Here we go. What? This seriously tastes like a freaking iced latte. Oh my gosh. It's so good. I'm thick and creamy. I'm just letting you guys know I was not expecting to like this. I was thinking I was going to be let down because of how many good things everyone has said about it. I was just like, eh, it's probably a bunch of hype. It's probably not that good. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited that I just discovered this because you guys have to know that I've been like dying without going to Starbucks. I usually go to Starbucks like all the time and I haven't been able to because obviously everything that's going on and this, this helps. Currently 
sitting here editing this very vlog because it's such a long one. I honestly think this is probably the longest vlog that I've ever uploaded on my channel. So I hope you guys like it. Um, I don't know why it ended up being so long. I guess I just talk a lot. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here because it is like over 20 minutes long and I wanna finish editing it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.